Okay, now that I have uh, explained to you the user history and we also know our API endpoints, uh, let's go to VS Code and see our actual project. Okay, so let me close all this for you. So this is our actual project. I have set up our project and I'm going to show you uh, the project structure. So we are using Next.js and we have our source directory and I am using the pages router as uh, you are most of you are introduced to pages router. So <clears throat> we have all we also have our ENP files, our Kitigno file. And as you can see, I'm structuring all the components uh, in a standard way. For example, we have our pages and under auth, we have our all the authentication pages and under our product, we have our product pages and uh, under profile, we have our profile pages. So let's go to our, where is our app file? Okay. So this is our app.js file. And as you can see, uh, I am using multiple providers. We have our store provider for our Redux. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to show you what each provider is doing in this course. So after that, we have our Google OAuth provider. We have our main layout. And then we have our components that we get as a children for our application. And we are rendering with all the page, page props. So this is the app.js. And if we go to our main layout, okay, so this is our main layout. This is the uh, actual layout, the first layout that all the all our UIs are going to be distributed. So why am I using the main layout? So uh, as you know, if uh, there can be multiple components throughout our pages that are used by multiple pages, for example, our footer and our header, uh, these are going to be uh, used by multiple pages. So we uh, do not want to render them uh, for each page. So you can set up a layout and you get the children prop. And uh, before and after the children prop, as you can see, I am rendering our header component and our footer component. So the children's are going to be uh, in the middle of our header and footer. So we do not have to render uh, these two components from each page. And then we have our component uh, component folder and inside the component folder, uh, you can see I have organized these uh, according to our pages and uh, it is a best practice to follow the naming conventions. For example, for our the uh, pages in our authentication auth folder, we are uh, keeping all the components inside the auth folder. So it is just a better uh, better approach to name your uh, name your folders. So after that, we have our global uh, folders under our component. And inside our lib, I am uh, maintaining any additional uh, setup. For example, I am handling our Exio setup inside the lib folder. Okay. For our Redux, as you know, we are using Redux. And uh, for Redux, this is the Redux folder where I am setting up the store and our reducers are inside the features. For example, this is our, all the functionalities uh, dealing with our user is going to be under this folder and this is going to handle the general data and this is going to handle the authentication. Okay, if we have any static data, we are going to handle it here. And after that, we have our style folder. As you can see, I am also uh, maintaining the naming convention in our styling folder. And this is the utils. If we have any utility functions, we are going to uh, handle the utility, uh, keep the utility functions under the util folder. Uh, 